I was going to keep Vorak and Myrmidons, and you were going to take Karak Angzar and Matorka and finish that province. I think so. And I was going to send my other army to help with these guys. As I, say, I know I wanted Karak Izor. Yeah. Now we have a dwarf army over here that's neutral, but they could potentially be a problem at some point. Clan Angren is going for Karak Angzar. Probably. Now, did you still want Bruno Carlsbrook to help with uh, Borak, or did you want me to double back and take Karak Angzar? Jurgen is going to fight Azag the Slaughterer, and Bruno is going to take Zvorak and occupy it so I can replenish troops. Azag the Slaughterer? Where the fuck was that guy at? I forget. He just flattened Doc Karaz by Barak Var, and he's severely wounded, and I was going to give him the coup de grace. Okay. Because I was trying to remember what you, we're doing. You killed your army on him to get him that week, I think. Where the fuck was he? Hey, there he is. As had the slaughter, I remember now. Yeah, I think. And you... I was going to have Victor von Karnstein kill him off, I think, was the original plan. Yeah, but I, th I think you couldn't move him for whatever reason this turn. No, I could move him. I was just waiting for a little bit more replenishment, I think, was the, was the deal there. I can't remember the reason why you didn't. But no, I have Victor, Jerome, Baldermont, and Vlad here. I don't know where Isabella Wait, went. She might be dead. Or I she don't might remember be in her... Matorka? And that's the Red Duke. The Red Book. <laughs> where do I check my armies at? Lords and Heroes. Ferdinand. Isabella. Oh, yeah, I remember now. She's up in Karaza, Karak. I don't think I could leave there yet. I think I might be able to now, though. Um, as long as yeah, you I can leave, leave her now. Um, other wank there, you should be fine. Yeah, because I'd had her help take the pillars of Grungy. Also, uh, a little bit late, but welcome to the stream. I'll probably cut the sound test out of the front end, so we'll see what happens. Alrighty, so I think I am good to go here. I'll do some more raised dead on my turn to refill out. Uh, Vlad's army. Yeah, you also need to fill the Red Duke's army, so occupying Karak Angzar is cheaper before the dwarfs get yeah. there and claim it. Yeah. And also, uh, Brock Ironpick, who is taking attrition from undead territory, is moving fast. They might be going for the Stone Mine Tower, though, which is fine for now. Possibly. Soon. I'd prefer not to give up any territory, but, you know... Maybe. And we're not giving it up if he's taking from the green skins. Oh, you're talking about that. I switched sides. Because that's where he's going to go if I take if I take Karagogzar. Yeah. What perk do I want? What's in this army? Mostly Skelebongs. Skelebongs. I mean, there's I also, there's also a Mortis engine. So there's that. Let's see. So I can actually tax Matorka now. Well, it's a Strigoi, so let's give him Dark Knight. I mean, I'm not taxing the mood. Pretty good too. Let's throw a spell, Soul Blight and Doom and Darkness. Can turn, can turn taxes back on for the mood. Can I turn them on for Akendorf? Yeah, let's give him Dark Knight. Yes, I can turn them on for Akendorf about Blood River Valley. It tickles me to think of a Strigoi being a knight. Blood River Valley, I can turn taxes on for about Soland. No, Steingard is still he, like super He held, he stood his ground. I'm just gonna... I need to figure out why Steingard's so mad at me. It's, it's not worth it. Oh god. It's not worth it. I'm just gonna do that. Take the leadership off, because that's what we do. Got Executioner. I should now make like five grand next turn. Excellent. I'm gonna have to go back to Baragvar so I don't take attrition though. 
You need to retake yeah, uh, Doc Garaz. Yeah. Because once I retake Doc Garaz, that gives me my province back and I can continue to fight off the green skins. It will be a mass grave. Gleaming Pendant gives plus four leadership. Let's give plus four leadership to the Black Coach or the Cairn Raves. Give it to the Black Coach. He's probably going to be further away from Bruno. Also, more than likely. Its damage is not worth fighting. It's literally regular ass Gobbo Archers and some Orc Boys. Oh, yeah, this is easy. Can we talk about the new free LCs and DLCs coming out, though? We talked about it in a different mm. stream that wasn't uh, Total War. Total War related. Yeah, there's uh, the Paunch and the. Um, the Warden and the, the Paunch. One? Yeah, the Warden Just and the Paunch. And there's the Web Altar Spider Mount thing for Goblin Shaman. And there's one more, I think. I'm also a confident attacker. Yeah, I'm almost beginning to like Mortal Empires more than I like um, War of the Vortex. Almost. Mortal Empires is like a thousand percent more interesting. <laughs> Why is that? Uh, campaign's bigger. There's more factions. And the Vortex always has stupid sub-quest objectives that sometimes you just lose the game. Yeah, that, that does. That'll give you. So what? I'm trying to figure out how I should handle this, because... Iron Rock has Vrag, Throat Cruncher, and, Skul and Skulk there. I need to build out these militaries as fast as possible to go crush them before they go after Barak Dwa's bag. Yeah. What a fucking name. Like, some of these named for provinces, man. Well, some of them are half dwarf, half orc. I'm just saying, the fucking names, man. Kill. Please don't be one millimeter out of range. I don't really do in this game. I probably Ooh, need to get better at. The red kiss. I don't do agent actions enough. <laughs> well, it gives free experience. Let's give her... Purple Son of Xerxes is so good. You ought to give her Zerus. a round. Zerus. Zerus. I will give her a hell steed. I was kind of pushing to get arcane conduit, but yeah, I'll give her a hell steed. Well, that way she's a flying magical caster. Well, it should also increase her campaign movement range, which will help. I think cavalry gets more movement range. So all this shit up here I need to build. Okay, let's let's go back to the important stuff. <clears throat> Castle Drakenhof. I can make hex rays if I build the font of nightmares. And this just spreads vampiric influence, which the corruption is important because we have that permanent chaos event. Um that province is otherwise fine. Kazid Boardcrag Volksgrad. Fort Stryghoff. Okay, we need to build main chain buildings to get more income. Let's do that. I'll just upgrade a bunch of main chain buildings. I need to wake Gabby up real quick, one moment. That's fine. Let's <laughs> see the problem. With, okay, last time we tried to play this campaign, we had huge technical problems. Um, we still had them this time. But we did a workaround. So, this almost got scrapped too, is the thing. I didn't save enough for that. I was probably saving for that Baca Palace.
that was probably what I was doing. Okay, so next turn. I should have enough so I can keep that gold smeltery. I don't need to raise anything. These guys will all be healed by my next turn, I believe. Yes. This army is fine. We do have six blood kisses. Which is enough to get anything except a Von Karstein. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That might be the best one. This gives Winds of Magic, all armies. This gives Vampiric Corruption, all provinces. This gives Experience Plus. And this gives Vigor Loss Reduction, which is also pretty good. Let me awaken that one, though. Hopefully I don't regret my decision. They will serve. <clears throat> Gustav, Ivo von Schwarzhofen, Elke Posner, and now Bernard Gorst, another Gorst, armored and shielded melee expert. He is a Strigoi who is armored and shielded. Surely not. Yeah, I was on the wrong thing. I was on Von Karstein. Armor Piercing Poison Attack Spellcaster. I wish I could see his other stats, though. Alright. Let's do a quick diplomacy awaiting for Derp. Mm. You summon the Lich Master. Mm. I see, I see. A pact, is it? Only the Grail companion. Don't even talk to me about the Grail. <coughs> A Grail? Tomb scum. What do you have to say to me that would not affront my lady's ears? <coughs> Thanks, money. Share with Chaos, Vampires, Barrow Legion, and the Empire. Well, I tried to exploit them. Park the Sun. No evil doer may receive the blessings of the lady. They will just not treat with me, even though they're garbage. I'm pretty <laughs> sure Malachim just hates me. Got based agreements here. Gets don't treat. Yeah. Master, many, many fates I see. Lots of puppets, lots of string strings. Speak. You come bearing on. I come bearing nothing. You come bear. Who calls? Von Karstein sends his minions to threaten and parley. Don't talk to me like that, Karl Franz. 
Emperor name only. Your words and heart are hollow. My hounds will gorge themselves upon you. If they eat my flesh, they'll also become vampires. <laughs> Suck it. I'm back. Welcome back. I dragged it Count. out a bit, so. What happened? I dragged it out a bit so that you'd have time. Okay. Count Noctis is pissed about something. I was going to fight the elves because he's my vassal. You vassalized Count Noctis? And Sartosa. Wow, well done. The only thing I the only one I didn't get was Luther's heart on. You gotta be rolling in cash right now then. Even with my multiple armies, I'm making seven 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 eight per turn. Damn. Which I think comes to like thirty grand and then my expenses come out of that. I make fifteen one oh six a turn. Like before or after expenses? Before. But what after expenses? I haven't gotten the chance to work on much of my economy because of this horse shit. I mean, my economy is booming because of that horse shit. And that's I don't think I win this. I don't get my settlement for some fucking reason. Probably because you just took it back and the garrison's absolutely annihilated. I think it was yeah, still... Yeah, I lose this regardless. I think it was still a ruin. They could just sack it. Doesn't mean I don't lose all of my generals and my entire military might. Well, Vlad comes back. I mean, Jerome. Sorry, buddy. And... Victor... Well, you know, the, the dead could come back. He didn't come back. I I will... Well, something came back. Oh, Vlad it's came back. It's fucking horse shit. That is straight up fucking horse shit. Well, Isabella's on the way. She can help. Maybe I was going to move my other army to help with that, and we just forgot they were moving those. I'm just sick and fucking tired of every single time I get any any momentum up, somehow the AI gets a full fucking stack. That's that's the screen skins. Like, that's their mechanic. You gotta try Jerome and, and Victor are both wounded now. You gotta try and confederate the Barrel Legion again? I need to. I mean, I'm going to liquidate one of those militaries entirely. I might just throw them against the, against the elves just to get something out of it, but... There's not really much I can do about it at this point. Also, can we yeah. talk about how this settlement's called the Bay of Blades? Do they attack with spinning tops? Great. Someone was a Bay Blade fan. So, I never really watched a single episode, to be honest. I didn't either. It's, it's a hard meme, though. Like Dwayne the Rock Hard Johnson meme. Alright, duty calls to Rom. Baramot was wounded, so I, I can have Steinberg Helschnat come out. He's a master of the black arts. And Vlad came back to life, so there's that. Yeah, I can I can either have that or one of my Strigoi Ghoul Kings come out. So can you take Grimgore with Isabella? One moment. 
Because Jurgen can't make it there in one turn. Like, if he ran, he could make it, but he couldn't attack. But Jurgen also has the immortal unit of hex rays. That, in spite of their multiple defeats, refuse to stay dead. So I think I'm going to get Steinberg, Helschnitt. Alright. I think a Ghoul King is probably my best bet there. I mean, they bring the melee to bear. I mean, it's either that or I take a Master Necromancer. I mean, that, that doesn't really make two choices, so... Strigo is probably a little bit better than the Necromancer. But, like, you know, your Hex Rays, your Mortis Engine, and your Corpse Cart survived, so they're pretty important units. And there's actually some good dead here I can raise, too. So Victor's gonna get the first army rebuild, I think. Of so he's gonna get a Corpse Cart. He's going to get two Crypt Ghouls. He's going to get... And it looks like those Dwarfs are indeed going for the other Orc Settlement. He's going to get another unit of Grave Guard. He's going to get Grave Guard with great weapons. Some Hex Rays and some Black Knights. Uh, then I think I fill out the army with some skeleton with spears. Yeah, because the orcs Not probably came with four boys. And I'll add two, a unit of fell bats. Oh, I'll end up adding one more unit of fell bats, but. And I honestly think I transfer the, another corpse cart, the mortis engine, and the hex rays over to Vlad's army. Since he's the better commander. Yeah. And if Isabelle is in reinforcing range, you also have the three rank nine Vargeists. Yeah, I don't think they really want to fuck with this death ball right now. No, like, Is Isabella's army is fine, but they need to be close to each other for their special bonus. <laughs> if they would have been close to each other last time, I may have had more of a shot. I mean, Isabella's army could probably muck whatever they have there. I'm getting my Strigoi that I just got kitted out with whatever random enchanted stuff I still have left. Yeah, I'm going to run Jurgen over and hopefully be in reinforcing range. But that terrain in the mountain pass is balls terrain. So I might not get through it in one turn. I'm going to give... While well, I'm into uh, Grave Digger, that way raising dead for him is cheaper. Did you do that after already raising dead on him? I didn't raise any dead on him. Okay, it takes a turn to equip though. Yeah, I know. So he has Supernatural Horror already, he has Quick Blood, he has the Hunger, he came with that. Um, I don't know, Sinusher? Maybe? I don't know, the only thing I could really get for him would be in the Hecara's Noble Blood. Probably just give him leadership buffs for the army. Yeah, or of supremacy. Like, you know you're going to be recruiting like the unliving host units, zombies, skeletons, crypt ghouls, and grave guard. Yeah. And then I can go ahead and give um, fucking uh, Red Duke. I can give him winds of death if I want to. Don't forget to move the red book to uh, Karak Angzar. Yeah. I think I'm actually going to give him Disciple of Ab Abhorash. That way I can get Honor or Death. I already have Grave Sentinel Swarm and Grave Guard are awesome. I can't raise any here, but... I can raise, like, a unit of zombies to help colonize. I don't think I'll have the cash for the colonization effort, though. No. The... The more units you have, the cheaper it is. The fewer units you have, the more expensive it is. It's two grand. You can do it next turn. Yeah, I'll search the ruins, though. 
Oh, great, it's one of these. I forget how this one works. I have no idea what it is because I cannot see it. It's the um, pathing one. The, uh, the red, that. yellow, and blue. Yeah. Yeah, that one, there's just nothing I can do to help. Clan Angron is going for Myrmidons. I cannot let them have it. I will declare on Thorgard Draxlayer if he takes that. I'm gonna guess this one, I think. No, the blue doesn't make any sense. The red doesn't make any sense because it's not even a fucking option. So it'd have to be the yellow, I think? Is the inner dial or the outer dial that's supposed to spin? All of them. You're fucking shitting me. They can all rotate. So I normally, I normally line up the outer dial first and work my way towards the center. I wish you could just actually move it. That'd be so easy. Yeah, the fact you have to do it manually. Okay, I see how this goes. Yellows at the line up at that point. I think it would be the yellows. Damn it. Oh well. I, I wish you didn't get nothing. Yeah. That's how it is. Alright. Turn yours. Okay. 